You're on the Bible Forum. I'm Warren Sprouse. The drums of war are beating in the Middle East. The Chinese dragon, the Iranian lion, have merged together in a pact that might forever alter the balance of power in the Middle East. China, with a population of 1.4 billion people and a landmass of 3.7 million square miles, is merging with Iran. Iran has a population of approximately 84 million people and a landmass of 636,000 square miles. This would pose a significant threat to the stability of the region and the entire world. Iran has been cash starved by the US led sanctions and China sees this as a way of getting heavily discounted oil from the current Iranian surplus and access into the vast Persian territory for China's hegemonic Belt and Road Initiative. Under this, they will be participating in joint military exercises, intelligence sharing, as well as the research and development of weaponry. Both are sworn enemies of the United States. Neither can be trusted when it comes to Israel's national security interests. On Friday, in his address, Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khomeini, reiterated that, quote, our main enemy is the U.S. and their regime, end of quote. In addition, Islamic Republic of Iran has never wavered from its manifest unswerving hostility to what they refer to as the Zionist entity and its ultimate desire to wipe it off the map, end of quote. According to David Albright, founder and president of the Institute for Science and International Security, Iran was, was simply two or three months away from nuclear breakout until a series of mysterious fires, explosions, and accidents set them back perhaps one or two years. China may not have those fatal aspirations when it comes to Israel, and unlike most Europe, it lacks a long an extensive history of anti-Semitism. Ever since its inception in 1948, Israel has been desperate for friends, allies, and trading partners, like the kid on the block that no one wants on its team. The United States has demonstrated, particularly under the President administration, an unparalleled devotion to Israel. There has been many an occasion when Israel has relied upon the American veto in the UN Security Council to prevent scathing resolutions and sanctions from being issued against her. China under President Xi Jinping has expanded its sphere of influence into the South China Sea, to India, across Central Asia, and into Europe. It feels a sense of righteous indignation over the rise of the United States and it must make up for what it calls centuries of humiliation, apparently stemming from World War II and beyond. In 2017, Xi said that they are entering a long, hard road against the United States. Their Belt and Road Initiative plans to link 60 nations in its hegemonic quest throughout Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. As an authoritative authoritarian countries tend to do, China feels that it has successfully controlled the COVID-19 pandemic and is trying to take advantage of the crisis to demonstrate their prowess vis-a-vis -vis the United States in medicine, economics, and outright world domination. Chinese intellectual property theft has cost the United Nations, United States, I should say, an estimated $225 billion dollars and approximately 600 billion in counterfeited goods. According to a recent report, one in five U.S. companies recount having had intellectual property stolen by the Chinese. So Israel's cozying up to China is not something the U.S. or the West is crazy about. One of the Shanghai International Port Group's contract is to take control of Israel's Haifa port for a period of 25 years. The U.S. 6th Fleet docks there. It is also Israel's largest container terminal. This, is not only, this not only compromises Israel's national security interests, but those of the United States. 
The Chinese harbor engineering groups had previously participated in the construction in the port of Ashdod, and the Chinese Railway Tunnel Group won the lucrative $3 billion contract to dig the tunnels for the Tel Aviv Red Line. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo traveled to Israel in May expressly to warn it about getting deeply entangled with China. The United States is also rightfully concerned about Chinese investment into Israel's cutting-edge cybersecurity and satellite telecommunications artificial intelligence industries with their intellectual property philosophy of once I understand it, I own it. Another Chinese offering is Beijing's Belt and Road Initial Initiative, a multi-billion dollar strategy to delve deep into the steel and economic cy cyber intelligence and military secrets of any company or country it develops relations with. Now that China and Iran have entered into this partnership, not only do further economic interests with China threaten to rock Israel's critically important relationship with the United States, but they threaten to pose a tremendous security risk to Israel. Most of the Sunni Arab nations and Israel have been developing close relations thanks to the Iranian menace, albeit many of them are still under the table. Israel's desperation to widen its scope of friendship presents a real and present danger to the region. The dragon is quite capable and likely to take a significant bite out of Israel and feed it to the Persian lion. This was an article by Sarah Stern, who's founder and president of the Endowment for Middle East Truth, a pro-Israel, pro-American think tank and policy institute in Washington, D.C.